Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome to an all-new episode of Zip's Collection. Today, we are actually going to be playing some Pikmin 3, and this is actually going to be my very first time playing a game blindly for Zip's Collection. This is a game I bought for Black Friday, uh, a little over a year ago, a year and a half ago, actually. Uh, Black Friday 2018, and I never played it. I did... I guess I don't have it anymore. I used to have the demo version of the game when I found out that there was one. I guess I got rid of it. But I kept these for some reason. This expired six years ago, but I got rid of Pikmin 3 instead. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to be playing some Pikmin 3. Uh, I don't know. I don't even think I've ever loaded the game up before, but here we are. <clears throat> nice looking intro there. It's got some nice music playing. I can't really hear it. I have the TV turned down a little too much. But, yes, Pikmin 3. I chose this game because um, I'm currently doing a Let's Play of the original Pikmin. And I've never played... You need a sensor bar? What? Well, I don't want to play using the Wii Remote, so fuck you. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm doing a Let's Play of the original Pikmin right now on the GameCube. So... Yeah, I, I thought it would be kind of cool to play this for the first time. I've wanted to play this game for a long time. The planet's name, Kobai. Due to blooming, booming population, booming appetites, and the basic lap parent planning. I, I've heard about the storyline. I watched K-Man's video years ago, and I think the idea was that you were supposed to, like, keep people from starving, or, like, you're running out of, um... <clears throat> you're running out of like resources, so it's like way different from the first two games story-wise. I can tell you this visually it looks really nice. Um, it's Wii U, so it kind of default looks like that. And I'm actually gonna watch this because I've never seen it before. Final Vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. Positive. And what could be? Mobilized to investigate the planet, which they name PNF 404. And it looks like it can't be found, because it looks like you're just riding off screen. Uh, oh, that was Louie in one of the pictures there. Louie from Pikmin 2. I think there's more uh, Pikmin commanders, or whatever you call them, um, instead of uh, just Alamar and Louie. I think there's I think there's a girl named uh, Jessica, not Jessica, Brittany, something like that. The landing sequence. Uh oh. Yeah, that didn't look like a smooth landing sequence to me. Uh oh. There's another crash landing like the first game. I'm sorry, I'm talking over the beginning cutscene. It's not a let's play. Um, but I, I don't know. I'll have to rewatch that opening cinematic. It was actually pretty cool. Exploration day one, 8:44 a.m. Charlie's crash site. <clears throat> um, yes, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try... I'm using the Wii U Pro Controller right now, so I hope this can actually be used. Ugh, what happened? I think the game would've stopped me if it wouldn't be usable, but... Never know. Oh! You look familiar. No, you don't look familiar. What the hell are you? Who's this guy? Uh, what the hell? Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course! This must be PNF 404. So I guess it's the planet where... Is that the normal Pikmin planet that you land on in the first game? I always assumed that was planet Earth because it looked like it had been previously inhabited by humans, but maybe that's what this is called? Well, I mean, it's them naming it, so I don't know. Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Oh, I remember this, I think, from the demo. I haven't played the demo in like two or three years, so... I think you're supposed to meet up with your crew or something to start out with. Captain Charlie. So, yeah, uh, I guess you're new. I managed to escape un unscathed. Ugh. Yes, English. <laughs> what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. Yeah, Brittany. 
Alf? I remember Alf from the demo. I hope they survived. So, um, wow, he's just running. Okay, is this, oh yeah, um, controller, oh my god, my pro controller has this stupid drift problem. Hang on, if I hold the joystick a certain way, I should be able to, okay, there we go. Navigate. If I don't, if I don't hold the joystick a certain way, it like, ugh. I hate this drift. I've had this for a couple of years in my pro controller, where the character will just randomly run off in a weird direction. It'll always automatically register me holding a certain way. I don't like that. Okay, here we go. Uh, can I control the camera? Looks like we can play with the pro controller, no problem. Huh? What in the? This guy doesn't know what Pikmin are, does he? There are more of them! What could it be? What could they possibly be? Don't tell me- wait. I hope you can actually control the camera in this game. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Um... Well... What? Why are they coming closer? There you go. You're their leader! Now... Oh, you have to press another button to whistle now? Oh, I'm used to B being whistled, and you can throw them. Now, okay, yeah, you just throw them. I guess they take down these mushroom things. Oh, what the hell are these? Like there's some sort of poison or something. Yep, they automatically lock onto something. B to disper- Oh, God, man, they changed the controls up here? Is there a way to change that up? I'm used to B being to call the Pikmin back, and then usually, like, X would dismiss them. They don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing ZR and throw them with A. Why'd they have to change it, though? That's weird. I can dismiss the whole group. Okay, but yeah. Um, so I thought this would be fitting, because I've been looking to play this. Um, yeah, it doesn't appear that you can manually control the camera, not even with the right joystick. Ah, oh, that's shitty. Both the first games had that. That was... Uh, okay. <laughs> Why, uh, I don't like that it's ZR to call your Pikmin over and then B to dismiss. That just doesn't feel right at all. Uh, but yeah, this graphically is a beautiful game so far. I remember the demo looking pretty good. Oh, the pigments still do things all on their own. Okay. See, some stuff hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, some things I probably would have liked to... Oh, wait, no. Oh, we can control the camera. Oh, that's great. Nice. Good. I like that. <laughs> it's... Can you swarm them? Oh, this controls the camera. Oh, so you can control the camera like this, but then there's also the classic. Why do you need both control styles? That's weird. Uh, can we take this down, or... Are they not meant to do anything to that? I have no idea. What enormous mushrooms. Um, I guess we're going to try and take this down, huh? Um, oh, yep, they take damage, just like in the first game. Uh, first two, I guess not this particular enemy from the first game, but, um, yeah, damage seems to work about the same, and we can go right through. Odd that you start off with yellows, that's very different. Ooh, look at that. But yeah, I never played this for some reason after I got it, so I thought on video it would be a good chance to do that. Oh, God. Turning into a 2D platformer all of a sudden. What are you doing, Nintendo? Can you... Uh, is there any swarm mechanic? Um... Not the D-pad. Nope, get... Don't, don't. Not right now. Let's see, we have 30 in our squad. Now, I think you overall get a lot less Pikmin in this game, so you might want to try and keep deaths to a minimum. Um, let me kill this last guy. This guy's creepy as hell. Uh, what happened? Boss fight? Can't really tell. 
Um, this is different from the demo. This is not at all what I remember from the demo, so... Maybe the demo was supposed to be... Um, I don't know, a different mode or something? I heard that might have been the case. Like, it might have been some side mode. Alf... Oh, Alf's crash site. This might be what was in the demo, actually. Not too sure. Ooh. Whoa! The ship coming crashing down? I want to call it the dolphin. I have no idea if that's actually what it's called in this game. But, yeah. Uh, whew, I have no idea how far I'm going to make it in this video, but I just wanted to show my first time playing the game. It's a miracle. I'm alive somehow. <laughs> it's somehow unharmed. Whoa. That is Elf. I remember him from the demo. So, just as the SS Drake... SS Drake is apparently what that's called. The ship. It's about to land. We lost control and had to make an emergency escape. Escape from the other two team members as well. The ship itself. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Still skip through text. I really just want to get to the gameplay here. I'll play the game more on my own time. Uh, ooh. Red Pikmin. There you are. Game visually it looks very pretty. What was that? Weird creature. I still don't have my, my reticle and I can't call to the Pikmin either. I don't remember having to gain that mm, ability at random. Is that the onion? Here's the specimen I just spotted as company. Uh, is that the onion? Without it stands for some reason? What's that stuck in that branch? Oh, it's stuck. Okay. So that's the onion, I suppose. Let's see if I can throw them up to it. Uh, yeah, okay, well, probably want to get you guys up onto that. Two out of three, and I don't know where the other guy is. Oh, there you are. There you are. Get over here. Abandoning your master. Okay, there we go. That is, yeah, that is the onion, I do believe. The red onion. Looks a lot different than it did in the first two games. Ooh. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't try to eat that. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Um, but yeah, so there's the red onion. Are there more Pikmin in here? Uh, yeah, that wasn't what I meant to do. Can you... Oh, I guess we can't do that right now. Normally, you'd stand under there, press A, and you'd be able to withdraw Pikmin. I think this is what I remember from the demo. Potentially. Uh, we can't cross that bridge. My comp pad, thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Um, except I can't exactly get across here, can I? Go over and get... Okay, just stand there, do nothing. Sure. Um, yeah, not what I had in mind. <laughs> ah, Pikmin. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, actually. And well, I'm doing that now. I can't get them to do that. Uh... Something I need over here. I've seen like no footage of this game at all, other than basic tutorials or like uh, stuff from TV. Oh no! Was this pile of rubble? Yeah, just get rid of it. I do remember this being. Oh yeah, you have to rebuild the bridge. I remember this being in the demo, so I believe this is what we need. But we don't have enough. I guess we can just bring them back slowly. Or they'll just do it on their own, I guess. And what are you doing there? Get over here. Go help your friends. Alright. Yep, they're still automated. I guess the, uh, the fact that they're... Oh, yeah. Just automatically do tests. That's significant improvement with the first two games. Um, yeah, nice. At least they don't go right back to your squad and usually get in your way. I can use some more helpers. Are there any more willing to 
volunteer. Don't think we have any more guys to find, but yeah, this is basically what I remember from the uh, demo version I got from the eShop. For the longest time, I didn't even know there was a demo, which was very weird. I just kind of didn't know much about this game at all. And, um, yeah. So Pikmin's obviously an adventure game. I like to think of it as an adventure game. More of an RTS, the first game. Um, lots of strategy, and you get into battle a lot. And, um, you know, you have to keep your Pikmin numbers up so you can bring parts back to the ship. Uh, Pikmin 2... Oh, I have to use the... I left the gamepad up at the TV. Uh, let me go grab that. Okay, sorry about that. I had to grab my gamepad. Let's see. Great, it still works, of course. I'd expect nothing less from the co the Copite Engineering. Unable to switch... What? It says press A, and then it just tells me I can't do that. Like, really? Okay, sure. <laughs> I thought I had to use the gamepad screen for a second. Uh, let's see. I'll check my surroundings by tapping and sliding the cuphead screen. Right? Let's see. Where's the Drake? The Drake. That sounds... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, no. No. I want it. Yeah, play on here. What? Can I... No, apparently I can't. Um, what? Okay, whatever. Let's see. So, uh, let's see. Activate the radar apps. Just follow that signal. So, let's see. Nope. Follow that signal. So, that would be, okay. Now, I don't remember the gamepad being involved here, so sorry if I don't seem to know what I'm doing. Okay, that's the Drake over there. All right. Uh, finding a Let's Play of this, I do have a Let's Player to promote a little bit later into the video, but, yeah, it f took quite a, really, can we, <laughs> I can't make up its mind, I have to navigate with the Pro Controller, otherwise it says I'm playing on the gamepad, that's annoying. Maybe the other crew members are there as well, okay, let me just, uh, go ahead and head that way, so, here we are, ooh, look at that, so here we have the pellet posies. And just pick that up. Now, where are these going to go to? Oh, cheer grubs. Lots of familiar, familiar foes here. Um, where are they going to take this back to? Oh, wait, we had the onion. That's right. Forgot we even found the onion. We're going to need 20 guys for this. That's going to be... That's, uh... We need 20. Uh, now, you do get double uh, Pikmin for matching colors. That's good. Thing that is popping out of... Okay, yeah, so those are the Pikmin being generated and sprouted. So we need to go and plug them. Looks like they grow relatively quick. They really put text boxes over the Pikmin to pluck. Really? <laughs> they really have to tell you to do that? Uh, let's see. So... Ah, uh, yes, that's how they propagate. And you just spam A to pick them all. Don't throw them. I didn't mean to throw them. We have 10 in our squad. We need 20. So, let's go ahead and look for more, shall we? It's not over there. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, this is pretty much what was in the demo. Except, again, it's been two years or so since I played the demo, so I don't really remember it. Okay, these are female shear grubs, so these shouldn't really be... Whoa, they can attack me? Holy crap, I didn't know they could attack. Those are the female shear grubs, they shouldn't be able to attack. What the hell? Apparently they can. I had no idea. Um, well, okay. Well, we'll just go ahead and take those back, I guess. Yeah, in the first two games, the female shear grubs are harmless to you and the Pikmin. That's interesting that they changed that. Um, I don't know whether I like the centered behind all mark camera better or um, just using the joystick. Just for Pikmin, I'm so used to the classic style camera. So I might just naturally go like this all the time, but I don't know. 
Ooh, that could get that could get uh, a little weird. I could lose my sense of direction or something like that. A, they really have to give you on-screen prompts for that now, really. We didn't have any of that back in the day. I'm gonna sound like an old grandpa. Go off on a tangent like that. That should give us plenty, Pikmin, to uh, pick up that bridge. Pick up that bridge, yes. We're gonna pick up bridges today, folks. We're gonna be so strong, we just pick up a bridge. Okay, that's... Alright, this should be enough to get that box out of the way, because it needed 20. And good, 21. I don't know if that's the maximum you can get. Usually it's 25 in the first game, so I have no idea here. I can't tell if there's any sort of a swarming mechanic at all in this game. Uh, there we go. Go move! I'm just going to stand here. I'm not going to move the box. I'm just going to stand there and watch them work. Sure. Aren't you just... Wow. What a guy. Uh, what is this? Looks like someone's left a data file here. A data file. Digital information. Just set standing there. Visibly on the ground. Uh, oh yay, the gamepad. That's going to get annoying. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It gives them... Okay, yeah, uh, I already know this crap. <laughs> Excellent. The cop pad can read the data files. So these creatures are called Pikmin. Yep, that sounds about right. Uh, wow, this has been going on longer than I thought. <laughs> this is fun so far. Definitely an interesting start. Exploration notes. Um, Installing. Now that we're at it, I'm actually going to go ahead and throw the... Um, LP that we're going to be promoting. So, we are going to be promoting Royal Crest, who is currently doing, I believe, his first Let's Play, actually. According to his playlist, this is his first Let's Play, and he's playing Pikmin 3. So, um, I don't know exactly how far he is into the game. He's about 15 parts in, and just updated the playlist a couple days ago. So, go check out Royal Crest's Let's Play of Pikmin 3 if you want to see more of this game. So, I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. Is Captain Olimar in this game? He's gotta be, right? <laughs> I hope. Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? I have no idea. Alright, mister, I'm just gonna stand by and watch everyone else move the box. You join the others now. And these are all leaf Pikmin, so they're gonna be probably a bit slower. They shouldn't, they should hopefully not just be lost from my squad if I get too far away from them, though. That was one thing that was really annoying in Pikmin 1. It still is, because I'm currently playing that, but... Yeah, um... Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life form, have we? Again, work on the wall, asshat. Hey! No, you don't get to sit out of the action again. No, you don't. Oh, whoa. Actually, hang on. Can we just, like... Oh, you ruined it! <laughs> I thought we were going to be able to, like, take it down extra fast by throwing Pikmin on top of the, uh... Those little, uh, removed chunks. It looked like it was working. And then it's just like, Oh, no, no, you don't get to experiment with that. We're just going to destroy it for you. There it is. The Drake is in front of us. It looks nothing like the dolphin from Pikmin 1 at all. The cop pad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. Um, this is fun, honestly. Um, after watching, like, K-Man's video, he's a little critical of the game. I was worried maybe it wouldn't be that good. Uh, so far, I think it's pretty decent. Uh, I will say, finding that Let's Play, though, was very challenging. I, I kept looking up recent Let's Play videos for Pikmin. I saw a lot of Pikmin 1. Pikmin 1 in particular was what I saw the most of. And um, then Pikmin 2 as well. Elf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? So this is our other comrade, I guess. This is Brittany. Thank goodness you're with the SS Drake, right? Yes, I am. I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm now trapped somewhere. Well, good job. Good job. We have to rescue Brittany now. 
I don't remember. I don't remember this part from the demo. So maybe it either ended early or I stopped playing early. Oh no, we cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful she appears to be safe and sound. All right, good. I like when people are safe. <laughs> What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna assume that Pikmin can't be left um, outside of the ship or outside of their onion overnight because that's how it is in the first two games. You can leave Pikmin behind and they die, which really sucks. No, I'm just gonna abandon them instead. They're just gonna have to fend for themselves, I suppose. It's not even that dark. If this were Pikmin 1, I'd still be going out trying to get another part. You kidding me? Alf chickening out just because it's sunset. Imagine that. Oh god, it's like we're in a... Looks like looks like we were emerging outside of a jungle or something there for a second. Oh, this is beautiful. This game is beautiful visually. And gameplay-wise, I like it. Most of the supplies we brought with us to Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. Ooh, not a good thing, huh? So now we only have three days worth of edible provisions left. So I think this is actually how... Um, it's kind of like the replacement of the time mechanic, I think. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. Like, you basically have to have enough food rations to last you out through the game, I think. I think that's like the game's substitute for a time mechanic, because from what I've heard, there isn't an actual time mechanic in Pikmin 3. I don't know if that's true or not, maybe it's, maybe that's not true, but from what I've heard, that is the case. I have no idea. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. I'll probably play some more of this game, maybe even after this video. I actually have some other stuff to do, so probably not, but this is fun so far. I like it. Um, But yeah, like I said, finding a Let's Play for this game was, like, next to impossible. I was finding, like, I go to the again to where I usually go the let's play tab for the Google or the YouTube gaming section and first let's play that pops up Chugga's let's play from like 2013 it's like why, why would I want that like, like I'm sure it's good but if you want a let's play I'd want someone something new you know something more recent and now track down Britney's signal good we have Britney's signal now. The Drake won't be able to locate. Okay, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I do care, but like, uh, looks like this is where we want to land. Um, I do care, but just I don't know. I just want to get as much done in this video as I can. God, I love. I know I've said it, but I love the visuals for this game. The Garden of Hope. Ooh, I'm seeing inspiration in the names from previous games. This almost has, like, art style-wise, like a Link's Awakening sort of feel, almost. Like the Link's Awakening remake that recently came out. Brittany should be around here. Something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. Running out of... Okay. So, we're just gonna go ahead and... Whoa. The onion followed us. Is that it? Is that true? Let's see. Okay, finally, we can actually... Oh god, it feels so oddly similar or familiar from previous games. Oh, you have to move over. In the first game, you could just press A and it would exit. Oh, that's, that's bullcrap. Game's horrible. Zero out of ten. Too much scrolling. Uh, oh, the gamepad. <laughs> Look at the Nintendo Wii U gamepad. Let's see. Press A under the onion to take out or return Pikmin. Yep. Okay, pretty obvious stuff. Um, I don't really care about that. Installing. So the tutorial, I guess it's a bit more tutorial-y at the start than other games. Uh, Pikmin 1 kind of just threw you into into the action not knowing much. Oop. Oh, ball board. Seriously, do we not have a swarming mechanic? 
Is that just not a thing in Pikmin 3? Kill him! Ah, yes, you can one-shot him, just like in Pikmin 1. Good stuff. Um, that up, that should be... Wow, they actually put the uh, numerator on top in this game. That's actually not how it was in the old games. It was actually on bottom, which was really weird and always freaked me out. I was like, what? <laughs> like, why do they do that? I don't know if that's how they do it in Japan or what, but it always weirded me out in the first game that the numerator in the fraction was always on the bottom. Um, I have no idea if that's normal. Now, I'm going to guess... Can they... Oh, he, he just doesn't even... Oh, he just stops following me. Oh, that's... Oh, that sucks. <laughs> and uh, the first two games, he would just uh, try and follow you and just die. Um, I guess they actually... Uh, I don't know. The game's implementing some anti-death mechanics. Oh, there is some sort of a time mechanic for the day itself, though. So that hasn't changed. That's still just as it was in the first two games. Um, which wall? Looks like there's two walls we can go to. Guess we'll take down this wall for now. Some sort of a sandcastle wall. Can't tell if they're actually making progress on that or not. Ooh, yep, they definitely are. Okay, fuck you guys. Uh, I feel like we should take down that other wall, honestly. Alright, go work on that wall. Knock it down. I have no idea if being on top here means you're going to take it down faster or not. I want to say that might make you go faster. I have no clue. Uh, but yeah, so... I don't know. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? Just goofing off, doing nothing. Where'd the other guys go? Do we get a map? No. Do we get a map to look at? Uh, I guess on the gamepad, but you don't actually see... Oh, wait, yeah, you can look... Oh. 15 idling. There's 15 Pikmin idling. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, whatever. There's 15 idling. Okay, there we go. Now they're all here. Just standing there doing nothing. I didn't even take a wall down or something. Uh, let's see if we can take this down. Can we do anything to that? I have no clue. I need to throw a specific... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So, I'm pretty sure there are new Pikmin colors in this game. I think. I've heard about that. I'm not too sure. Maybe not. Just go ahead and throw you guys on there. And, yay, no work for you. Let's get this. More data. Um, let's see. Once Pikmin are done transforming fragments, they will return the original location. Okay. Cool. So that's pretty nice. Uh, is this a wall we can take down? I don't think it is. Uh, we'll some more Pikmin off of this guy. Sure. Go get it. It's so weird seeing those. Oh god, they come right back to you in this game. Holy crap. Well, at least, so if I have like a giant group, they just... Oh crap. Oh no, they do follow you in. Oh, they didn't do that before. Oh no, water's lethal to Pikmin. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't think they were going to do that. The guy before just stood on the edge and just didn't follow me. That's weird. Let me out. Oh, they just come right out. Like, mindlessly. In the first game, you'd have to... Yeah, in the first game, you'd have to actually, like, straight up rescue them. You'd have to whistle them and pray to God that they could still be saved. Guess not in this game, huh? Uh, let's see. Do we have... 27. So we're missing three. Uh, I have no idea where those three would be. Oh, there you are. What? Get over here. No goofing off. <laughs> what do you think you're doing just goofing off? This is fun, though. 
Not just that it looks good. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, it doesn't mean it's a good game. Where do we go now, though? But yeah, not only does the game look good, it just overall is... It just... It's a lot of fun to play. Now, Olimar can go into water. Oh, um... Oh, a spotty but How are you going to fight those guys? I can't do a bum rush in this game by the looks of it. By the looks of it, swarming isn't a thing in this game, so I can't really do a bum rush for the spotty bulb orbs. You know, the big mama bulb orbs. Shh, it's asleep. I think we can sneak up on it. Sneak up and murder! Yes, of course. Why not? Die, die, die! Wow, you die a lot easier than... Oh no, oh no, oh crap. Oh crap, kill it, kill it. Oh god, I just lost a Fikman. No, he's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. You bitch, you have like a little sliver of health. What do you think you're... Oh my god. Dang it, I lost four. See, if swarming was a thing, I could have just bum-rushed the dude. But that's like not a thing in this game. Unless that's in a mechanic introduced later on, I have no idea. Ooh. Also, I believe yellows are the only Pikmin resistant to electricity, so we can't do that either, can we? Let me try it. Ow. Rescue it. Oh, he's still alive. Thank God. <laughs> you did that with uh, in the original game. This one's hidden away. You did that in the original game, though. Uh, there was no electricity in the original game. What am I thinking? If you did that in Pikmin 2, the Pikmin would just die instantly. When the going gets through, gets tough, retreat to a place... Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Giving me obvious hints. <laughs> um, not necessarily obvious, but... Stuff I could have easily figured out, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I got them back in our squad. Let's go ahead... Oh, does it just automatic? Oh, just automatically. You don't even have to spam the A button like you do have to uh, in the first game. Oh, that's nice. You can just spam A like twice and they'll just keep following you. That's real. That's actually really convenient, actually. Uh, we need more pieces of that bridge. So let's go ahead and try to find those. Because we can't really get to the other side. Well, uh, I don't even... Yeah, we can't go in here, clearly. Like, what if, if I just walk up to it? I'll just get shocked. And I'm guessing, uh... Oh, I have to spin myself to get up? That's weird. Um, wait, 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 what? Charge? It was telling me to hold B to charge. That was weird. Ah, oh my god. New game getting confusing. <laughs> yeah, that, that that never happens. That never happens. I get confused by games I've played before even sometimes. Um, ooh, this should go down a lot quicker. Yeah, look at that. Going down much quicker than uh, the other walls. Alright, let's go through here. Day's about half over and... Oh, we had a straggler, but he's with us now. And camera forcing itself into weird positions. Oh, is that Brittany? Brittany. Brittany's just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. Um, Let's see. Pick up, Brittany. Pick up. Please still be alive. Let's see. Can the message telling me to look at the gamepad, like, not be there? That's got to look so tacky in a Let's Play, I swear. Let's see. Elf, sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. Oh, yeah. Just taking a little nap in the middle of a rescue mission. Yeah, real professional. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, wasn't I moving, you ask? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, you were taking a nap just to spook us. <laughs> but never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. Good, we kind of need food to eat. And I'm guessing that's how the time mechanic works. Like, before it was finish the game before X amount of days. Looks like here you have to not run out of food. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? 
Uh, sure, I guess. Why do I always have to be the one doing all the hard work? Ooh, a strawberry. In Pikmin 2, these always had, like, really weird names. Let's see, it's giant is a fruit. Oh, yeah, he doesn't even know it's a fruit. I wonder what kind of weird name will come up for it. And, and I, I love the names that they randomly come up with in Pikmin 2. They're so funny. Yeah, we still can't really do that. We can lock onto that. Charge at it? I thought these guys couldn't do anything. Doesn't look like they can. Um, yeah, I can't really get to that. That sucks. Uh, let's see. What are these guys doing with that damn strawberry? Have to make sure they aren't s smuggling it and eating it for themselves. Uh, analyzing... Analyzing what? <laughs> Just nothing? Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. Cool. Let's see. What could it be? I'm going to have to end this video off in a couple minutes, but this is fun, honestly. Analyzing recovery. Yes, that's a strawberry. This is overall a lot better impressions than I had going into the first pick and the first time I played it. This game is actually a lot of fun, just right off the bat. Large quantities of Pictamin. Pictamin, really? Pictamin you detected. Oh, Pikmin you. Oh my god. Nintendo with the weird puns. This is a seed bearing fruit making cultivation on Kobai possible. Cool. Okay. Yep. Uh, enough, anal enough analyzing uh, strawberry. Come on. Let's get to the real stuff. Edit the fruit file. Yep, 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 yep. So install that. Is that all of the elements of our device? I think it is. A fruit file. And, but since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. Sure. Let's see. So, we do have uh, more food for the next day, which is good. We need fruit food for the next day. Uh, what more can we really even do? I don't know. We obviously have to get to Brittany. And, I haven't quite figured out how to do that. I can tell it's getting closer to sundown here. I just love how beautiful this game is. I'm sorry if that kid's annoying me boasting about the graphics, but it's just so good. Like, seriously. It's hard to not compliment them. Oh, there's a cave in here. Now, the cool thing in Pikmin 2 was that in the caves, time actually just stopped. And there was no time limit at all. What, what is that thing? Oh, oh... Black Pikmin? Uh, jellyfish of sorts. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Fuck him up, fuck him up. Pa, 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 pa. Oh, God, he's. Oh, no, oh, no. He just killed a bunch of my guys, didn't he? Wait, what? Rock Pikmin? Oh, is that another new type? Oh, I think it is. Are these creatures Pikmin too? You're giving me a funny look. Yeah. A freaky look. <laughs> oh, those are the guys that can break through, like, glass, aren't they? Okay. Oh, and that's their onion, so not black Pikmin, they're rock Pikmin. Alright. I knew there was at least one new type of Pikmin here. I just couldn't quite, uh... I can, uh... Call him over here. See, oh yeah, much more effective. Hell yeah. There, that should do the trick. There's our rock onion. Alright, that's pretty cool. This game's pretty fun to start off with. So their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L. That's one thing you can't do in Pikmin 1 is swap between colors at random. Um, I don't really care. Come on. Just let me play. Grab this file thing. Uh, what the frick? Oh, okay. Yes, I thought he was going down to kill them for a second. And I freaked out. I was like, oh, what the hell? Just killing off the new species I discovered? 
Not very nice. Let's see, Rock Pikmin. Cool. So there is our daily file. And I guess I can use you guys. I'm going to end this off. I think you can skip to sunset. So I'll probably just do that. And uh, once I have this done, get over here. There we go. Get this file. So you have to collect files for more information. New sprouts will be... Okay, yes, I get it. You're giving me really obvious stuff, but... Eh, whatever. It's information, so... Okay, yeah, you can swap with... Yeah, you can swap with that. That's actually a pretty cool mechanic. Let's break it open. Alright, ooh, more pellets. Um... I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Crap, I thought the rocks would go for that. No, no, no. Don't do that. Oh my god, I thought that got better in new games. What the hell? The sun will be setting soon. Oh, yes. So, yes. Have to make sure you don't have any strays. Any stray Pikmin. The Pikmin that are close to the onion should be able to make it back on their own. I have no idea if you can just leave the rock Pikmin by their own onion the first day. I have no idea if that's a thing. That's a thing in uh, Pikmin 1 with like blue and yellows, but I have no idea. Okay, I don't care about the onion stuff. <clears throat> Hurry up. Uh, I mean, honestly, I have a good while to get back, so I'm not really worried right now. Not too worried. I think we have plenty of time. So yeah, okay, yeah, this is within the barrier. Alright. So, that's nice, but I really don't even know if I'm going to finish this day off. Officially, I'll probably just artificially end it early. And we'll go ahead and pluck these guys. I find it so funny that they have to have like the on-screen prompt to pluck it. Just the fact that you didn't have that in the original game, now you have it. It's weird. It just feels so weird having that. Now, yeah, let's end that. We have everyone in our squads. This should be pretty safe. Now, yep, they did follow me back. That's good. The sunset looks so nice. That's so. That looks so beautiful, that sunset. I can't get over how good this game looks and how fun it is to play. Press. Why does that automatically show up? Just no. <laughs> Press plus to skip. Now the bulb orbs, no food for you. In the first game, they would be like disappointed. You'd see them like shrug at the end. They'd be like, ah, oh, no food for us. Not in this game, I guess. But yeah. The red and rock onions. Drifting off in the distance. Long cuts it. Whoa, what? They merged into one. Oh, do you only have one onion now in this game? That would be weird. Is that a thing in this game? Just having one onion? That would be. I have no idea. Look at this. Food. This food is just for me. Let's see. Though I am sorry that Brittany and Captain. Did he say Captain Almar? I skipped over that. <laughs> I skipped over that like an idiot. Uh-oh. Running out of supplies. We better... Yeah, you had that exact number of supplies yesterday. <laughs> yeah, uh... Shouldn't be very alarming. We did lose four, unfortunately. Now, Sunset is Pikmin that you leave behind. So you don't want to ever leave behind Pikmin. Because they just die for no reason, they don't even die for the cause. They just die because you let them be strays. Analyzing the recovered fruit bank at the Drake, it seemed to be suitable for kind of consumption. Um, yep, okay, basic stuff. And I'm gonna have to end off the video here, folks, but that was actually a lot of fun. Uh, checking out Pikmin 3 for the first time. Um, I don't know why I didn't play it. Uh, I bought, like, Xenoblade Chronicles last year for Black Friday as well. I played that right away. But Pikmin 3 and Skyward Sword, I have not played up until just now. 
And uh, Skyward Sword I still haven't played. Now can I... Check in. The onions fused into one. Uh, can I like go back to a menu screen? I guess not. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to end this off, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Zip's Collection. I know it's a bit of a... Bit of a... Kind of detour from the norm of what I usually play here. I usually play games I'm familiar with. This is a blind game. Let me know if you want to see me play more games blind. I will happily do that more in the future. If that would be something you're interested in. But I do have to end the video off. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Zips Collection. I hope you look forward to the next episode later on. And um, yeah, I don't exactly know what game I'm going to play. But I have a couple candidates in mind. And I might post a poll allowing you guys to vote. So... Look forward to the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you around. Peace.